Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Ice Lakes, and we are still continuing our tour through the game for all of the waterways, and the next one on the list is the West Coast. This is one of the biggest of the waterways that we can check out, and it contains a number of species, the biggest here being the salmon, and the musky, and the walleye, and of course the sturgeon and I think the sturgeon pretty much outsize all of them if you manage to catch them and there's also plenty of pike here as well so we're going to go after basically all the big stuff as much as we can we're gonna obviously try to get pike and we're gonna try to see if we can't fish in the same place that we caught the biggest sturgeon which is the biggest fish we caught here at 25.27 pounds and we're gonna do another 30 minute mission and our competition I was, i've been saying missions so much lately i'm stuck on that i think what we're going to do is we're going to try to get maybe the biggest fish or maybe the three biggest let's get the three biggest we'll go for the three biggest and we're going to go for 30 minutes in the evening now, that's the last time i caught that big fish that big sturgeon was in the evening and I actually caught him right over here but let me show you what I'm going to be using here real quick now my equipment the jig that I'm going to be using is of course a balance lure I prefer those if I can get them the jade hunter which is best for sturgeon bream and Xander. and we might switch off if it does doesn't do very well to maybe the Beast Hunter, which is also good for sturgeon. It's also good for walleye, and walleye are found here. And we can also get plenty of musky here, but I'm trying to remember which one is the musky one. It might be the Ice Queen. Yes, Ice Queen. So if we start catching musky in good quantities, we might switch over to that too. We're just going to kind of go with what we can catch for the most part. Now let me go ahead and go to the equipment we've got our heavy tungsten drill and we're using the heavy golden phoenix rod because the fish do come big here you're you're going to end up snapping your line if you use anything smaller than this and as far as bait i'm going to be primarily focusing on the i think it's called wait a minute, glitter yes the glitter attractant Glitter attractant is best for common carp, Chinese perch, and sturgeon. It's also good for Xander, whitefish, and ass. And there's plenty of whitefish here, so that's not going to be a problem. And the Africa hook, which of course is good for sturgeon, eyed perch, and carp. It's kind of a mix of things here. We might switch over and do some other things. And the last time I caught that sturgeon, it was off the yellow submarine, which says nothing about it. So <laughs> they tend to bite whatever they want to bite on. But let's go ahead and get this started. Now we are going to have to reset that. Because I was trying to show you the gear and I don't want to do it while I'm trying to play the game. Alright. Again, three largest fish. We're not doing a battle royale. Let's go ahead and start. All right, we are going to hit oh, We need to head over here. Whoa. It looks like I'm not the only one thinking about this spot. Okay, good. He's, he's continuing. All right, let me take a look at the map here because I want to be sure that I get pretty darn close to where I was last time. Yep, right about there.
All right, let's go ahead and put our attractant in there and let's drop it in and see what we can do about catching a big fish. I'm not going to waste any time. And we might get a pike with this presentation, so that's always a good thing. The pike come quite large here. For a long time, a pike was the largest fish I'd caught here. But until they introduced sturgeon to the game that I finally caught one, I think sturgeon didn't get entered in until like maybe six months after the game first was introduced. So... Come on. So, there we go. Okay. You're in wonder there. Okay, I don't think this is over 10 pounds, but it is a flounder. Might need to lift it off the bottom. I forgot the flounder are very common around here. And if you're right on the bottom, probably more than likely going to get one. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay, that bent over pretty darn good. Yeah, I don't think this is any flounder. Yes, that's what I was hoping for, and in the same spot, guys. Same exact spot. You just got to be patient. Lift it slightly off the bottom, and it worked. Worked like a charm. Now, if we could just get a really, really big one. Love to break my record. I don't know what the record for the sturgeon here are, but seven pounds is not going to cut it. Might switch over to whitefish, not whitefish, but salmon. I think there are whitefish here too. That's another good fish to go after. But I think there are more shallow waters. Come on. There you go. No, this isn't nearly as big. But it is a Xander. Yeah, I'm going to fish here for a little bit. For the sturgeon. If we don't get another one, I am going to probably switch my lure over. See if we can't get some salmon here. Salmon do come pretty big. Not as big as that one sturgeon that I caught, but big enough. Yeah, I think we're going to move on a little bit here, guys. Well, at least we've got a decent start. I think I might move towards a little bit more shallow water here. Right here might be good. Yeah, I'm going to fish for 
sturgeon for just a moment, and if I don't get anything real soon, I'm going to switch it over to the salmon snake, which will focus more on the salmon. Blue beast might be a good one to use too, because it's really good for the, the pike. Well, I think I am going to switch it off. Let me see here. We are going to go with Salmon Snake, which is right here. Shoot. I think I might change my hook to, let's see, I think it's, yep, Meteor, definitely, change that, and the attractant, I don't think that's the one I want either. Well, we'll try the we'll try the grayscale for a little while, and then maybe can't remember what the other one was good for. Well, that might be one we could use. We'll go with that for now. Come on, man, they are not, there we go. Oh, this is very big. Well, it is a salmon. So it's a start. Might go further up to the channel here. We need something significant. We've only got one decent sized fish out of three. There we go. Finally. They definitely took their time. That's our pike. Okay. Now I am going to go ahead and move because if we're not getting the white fish off of that. Not the white fish, but the salmon. I might have a better place to go. It's a little bit of a hike, but need to make the hike now while we got the chance. Yeah, it looks like they thought of the same thing. But I'm going actually a little bit closer to that bend right there. And it's really deep here, but we're going to take it just above the bottom. Yeah, I was just glad to get that sturgeon. I've been trying to get another one in that spot. See if it still worked. It does still work. So if you have more than 30 minutes, it's definitely worth your time and trouble. If you like to try to break a record or something. Yeah, I'm not keeping it on the bottom because we'll just get flounder. Come on. There we go. 
Now we're talking. And there's a salmon. There we go. Now that was a much better bite. Okay. Now we're still... Still could do a little bit better. I'm going to raise this up just a little bit more. Yeah, they're definitely here. We're just we've got to get something that's really significant in size. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Still, not getting a whole lot of fight out of it. That's the only pike we'll get. Yeah, if we were doing only pike, we would be rocking and rolling here. Come on, give me a large fish here. Oh man, that might be the one right there. See how it keeps bobbing up and down? Yeah, that's definitely an indication it's bigger than what we've been getting. Whoa! Nice musculange. Seven pounds. We might be in this after all, guys. I'm going to stick with where I am right now because we're doing fairly good. Well, they're just not biting like they used to. We're going to move on a little bit, guys. I think I might go a little bit this way. Right down to the mouth of that channel, if I can. Let's see, can I go past that? Yeah, that's the limit. But we're going to try it here. So if we're going to get musky, let's get musky. I think the Ice Queen is the one we want, yes. And I think we might be good with the bait, the lure, or the attractant as well, but I'm not sure. Let's see, no. Might be, no. Never can remember these things. Let's see, shiny dots. Ah, there it is. Magic blue. And clean that out. Drop it in. Might still get a pike too. I'm not going to have any problem with that. Alright. Oh, oh yeah. 
Yes, we got a big one here. Actually, this might be the biggest one. Oh, that's another decent sized muskie. About the same size. Another seven, almost eight pounder. Yeah, I've been really lucky at catching the muskies in the uh, waterways that contain them. Getting the big fish is not difficult here west coast, though. In some of the waterways, you just don't get anything big. And that's probably a flounder. That's just a guess, but I think it's a flounder. Not very big. No, it's a pike. Teeny little pike. Teeny tiny little pike. Let's raise it off the bottom a little bit. I mean, that would have been food for that muskie. Yeah, one thing I want to let you guys know, I do have... Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. That's a big fish, too. Wow. Wow. Like, wow. I mean, really wow. <laughs> I can't say that enough times. Holy crap, this is big. What the heck? Another muskie? Wow, 14.02 pounder. Definitely going to have to keep this spot in mind in the future. Yeah, I got so worked up I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> I really did. Dang, gone. Check it out. Look how much that's bobbing up and down. That's at least as big as the last one, and it might be bigger. Usually when it bobs up that much, you've got like a huge carp or something. Twelve pounder. We still have a little bit of time. Well, unless they're pulling out muskies like this. I don't think anybody stands a chance now. I feel really confident. <laughs> no, what I, I remember what I was going to say though. I have... For some reason I cannot get Shadow Play, my normal recording software, to record this game. I have tried everything. It'll start to play it and then it will kick off. Man. And so what I end up having to do is use Bandicam. So after 20 minutes of using Bandicam, I've got it set. Bandicam, I use it. Another musky, not real big, but I've got it set to where it will stop recording and then kick back on again. So my footage doesn't get too long and that's actually a really good thing it makes it a lot easier to edit I wish Shadowplay had that same feature the only thing is you do get a little bit of like a flash it'll stop for a second tell when it's doing it but you can almost man chalk it up to lag yeah, I don't think this one's as big, but... Yeah, I am not going to wait too much past two minutes, because we're going to need the time to get back. It is a 
I don't want to forfeit this entire thing, and we definitely are in the running with this. We are doing really well right in this spot. This spot is an awesome musky spot. I don't know what the largest one has been, but... Man! I ought to come in here and free play it. Get this just money for, you know, sell the fish. Holy crap. Yeah, after this one, I think we're going to end this, because this one might be the biggest one yet. Man. Holy crap. Whoa! A salmon, huh? 18.78 pound salmon. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're not going to risk it. Not going to risk it. Nope, 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 nope. We're going back. <laughs> I feel too good about it. I don't want to run the entire game by letting it forfeit me out. Yep. Cut times too close before in the past. They just drive their vehicles out here on the middle of the lake. Alright, we're just gonna wait here. It's gonna take a little while. But once we get close to the timeout, I'll bring you back. Yeah, looks like everybody actually came back early too. Guess they weren't taking chances either. There's the clock. We've got one guy and he's waiting to last minute. There's always one. Every now and then you get one that forfeits the game. Alright, I think we got it, guys. I feel really confident about this. First place. Ooh! Oh, man! That was close! He must have got it early on. Well, I think it's she. Must have got it early on. I'm literally like 0.3 pounds over. I mean, I barely got it. But good lord, look what she got. A 36.69 pound sturgeon. Yeah. She got the biggest. If I had done the biggest fish, I'd have lost. Wow. Love to know where she caught that sucker. Alright, well we got it. Well, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. And I, I basically found an awesome musky spot. So anyway, if you want to check the game out and catch a lot of musky and do free play, you're going to probably get a lot of cash for them if you uh, catch as many as you can and go and sell them. So anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far and have fun. And I'll see you later. Bye bye.